Hey guys, welcome back to this series. In the last class, we were able to save our information to our Firebase database, but in this particular class, we will be focused on retrieving the information that we saved on our Firebase database back into our app and we need to display it on our recycler view. So if you're yet to see all the previous videos in this series, I'm going to put the link in the video description. I'll suggest that you watch them first and come back to this particular video so that you can be in sync with all that we are doing. So guys, let's get right into it. Now, the first thing we need to do will be to go to our solution explorer and create a new event listener. So for us to be able to retrieve information for our Firebase database, we'll make use of event listeners. So we're going to have to create a new event listener to retrieve our information or our data from Firebase database. Like I always mention, I have a knack for code organization. So I'm going to have to create a new folder and I'm going to call this folder event listeners. Now guys, so let's go ahead and create a new class. So I'm going to call this class alumni listener. So this is where we are going to be implementing our Firebase listeners to retrieve our information from our, our database. So for this to be a Firebase listener, we need to first of all inherit from java.lang.object. So this is actually a necessity if you want this class to be able to implement the iValue event listener interface. So the next thing would be to implement the interface, the iValue event listener interface. Okay, so we need to first of all resolve this by bringing in Firebase references. Okay, now that we have that, the next thing will be to go ahead and implement this interface. Boom. So I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to remove this as well. So guys, what we actually want to do here is to retrieve all the alumina and put them in a list and return it to our main activity. So all we're going to do first will be to retrieve all the alumina, as you can see, Currently, we have only one alumina registered on our database. So we want to retrieve all of them and put them in a list and return them to our main activity. And when it gets to our main activity, we can now use it to set up our recycler view. Currently, we are only using the dummy data for our recycler view. So we want real data on our recycler view. So what we need to do here is to say if snapshot.value, it's not equal to null. We need to check for null first. And when this is not null, I'm going to say var child equal to snapshot the children dot to a new variable of the type of data snapshot. So what we're actually doing here is that we are converting the snapshot to an enumerable. So this actually means that we can now loop through all the children in this particular snapshot. What this means is that let's say we have more than one alumina. Say we have 10 alumina here. So if we convert this particular snapshot, this alumina snapshot, to an enumerable data, we'll, we'll be able to look through each of the children, that is, each of the alumina. We're going to see that in action just shortly. So all I need to do will be to loop through all the children in this particular snapshot. So I'm going to say for each data snapshot, I'm going to call this alumina data in child. So at this point, we can now go ahead and grab the values in this alumina data. So I'm going to say alumina, I'm going to have to resolve this. So we have a new instance of alumina. This is a data model. You can see it here. This is a class we created earlier on. So I'm going to say alumina.id. This should be equal to alumina data.key. So when I say alumina data.key, I'm actually referring to this, to this key, okay? So I'm actually, so what I'm doing is looping through each of the items. But eventually, we are in the first item. This would be the alumni data key. That's for the first item. So I'm going to say alumni.fullName. This would be equal to, so this will retrieve the full name of that particular alumni. So the next would be to say alumni.department. Now the next will be to grab the status. So this would be alumni.status, okay? Now the next would be to grab the set dot to string. So the next thing we need to do will be to create a generic list that will take in each of these alumni, all right? So I'm going to go to the top of the class. So I'm going to make a new list of alumni. To do this, I'm going to say list alumni 
I'm going to call this alumni list. This will be equal to new list of alumni. So at this point, remember rule of thumb, the first thing to do before you start adding item using a list is to clear the list first of all. So here I'm going to say alumni list dot add alumni, right? So this will actually go ahead and retrieve all the alumni we have in the list and add it to this alumni list. Now the next challenge will be to return this information back to our main activity. There is actually a very good way of doing this. So normally we can just went ahead and implemented this in our main activity. But that doesn't actually make our code very clean and organized. So a very good way of actually handling this is to use an event, is to create a custom event that will send this list back to our main activity. So I'm going to show us how to do that. So to be able to do this, we're going to create an event. So before we go ahead and create our event, we we'll first of all need to create a special event axe for this particular event that we are going to create. I can just go ahead and call this alumni data event axe. And this is going to inherit from event axe. So this is just a special part of it because we are creating a special event axe, but it's going to be inheriting from the base event axe, all right, which is this. Now I'm going to go ahead and say public list, list of alumni. So I'm going to call this alumni. I'm going to use get set. So now that we're done creating our special event axe, the next thing we need to do will be to create our public event. So I'm going to have this as public event, event handler of the type of alumni data event axe. So this is why we created this event axe earlier on, so that our events will take in this type. So now I'm going to go ahead and call this alumni retrieved. So this will be the name of our event. So what is actually going to happen here is that when we invoke this event, it will return this alumni list into our main activity. So guys, to be able to do that, I'm going to go into our on data change method and immediately after our loop, I'm going to invoke this event handler. I'm going to say alumni retrieved not invoke this a new alumni data event handler, event acts rather, and alumni will be equal to alumni list. So this will actually go ahead and return this alumni list, our main activity. Now to ensure that everything works out well, so now that we have this, the next thing we need to do will be to initialize this class. And to do that, we're going to have to create a special method for that. So I'm going to say public void. I'm going to call this method create. So this is the method that will initialize this event listener. So I'm going to go ahead and say database reference. I'm going to call this alumni ref. This will be equal to app data helper. So I'm going to have to bring in this reference dot get database. So this will return an instance of our Firebase database. I'm going to say .get reference alumni. So here I'm going to say alumni ref dot add value event listener this. So this will actually go ahead and initialize this event listener. Now we need to go to our main activity and implement all of this. So in our main activity, I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to declare a new instance of our alumni listener. Okay, so we need to resolve this. Okay, so we have this resolved. So we're going to call this alumni listener. So now that we have this, I'm going to need to create a new method. This method, I'm going to call it retrieve data. So this method, we handle retrieving our information from Firebase database. So to retrieve our data, I'm going to go ahead and initialize the alumni listener we just created. So I'm going to say alumni listener will be equal to new alumni listeners. So the next thing will be to say alumni listener dot create. So this will go ahead and initialize the event listener. So the next thing we need to do will be to implement the alumni retrieved event handler. If you guys remember appropriately, we created this event handler in our alumni listener class. So I'm going to go ahead and say alumni listener dot alumni retrieved. I'm going to use tab to create a code block for that. So this is actually where we are going to be waiting for our alumni list to return to us. Okay. So the next thing we need to do will be to say alumni list will be equal to e dot alumni. All right. 
So this is actually the list that is being returned from our event listener. So like I said earlier before, this list will consist of all our alumni information and we're going to set it to the alumni list that we have in our main activity. So the next thing we need to do will be to say set up recycler view. So this will go ahead and set up our recycler view with the new information that we received from our Firebase database. So what I'm going to do here is to go to our onCreate view method. Instead of having this create data, I'm going to comment it out and I'm going to call retrieve data method. So this is actually the method that will return the information from Firebase database. So now that we have all this, before I go ahead and test the app, I also need to comment this out or even delete all of this because we actually don't need it anymore. Now let's go ahead and run our app and ensure that everything works just the way we planned it. So our app is deploying. Bam. So guys, this is the information we have on our Firebase database. So the next thing we need to do will be to, you know, add some coloring for our status. Let's say as we have this particular alumina as graduated, let's make the color to be green. And when he's failed, let's make the color to be red. You know, those kind of styles. And also, this needs to read department of, then following by the department. And this set needs to be set 2009 or whatsoever. So now let's go back into our Visual Studio. Now we need to go into our adapter. Okay, so inside of our adapter, we need to go to unbind view holder. So this is actually where we are going to be adding our customizations. So here I'm going to say if items the position the status is equal to graduated with G. Now we're going to say holder the status test dot set test color. So all we need to do here is to set the test color, you know, to something green. So we're going to use color. So we need to bring in this namespace. So we're going to say color dot RGB, and I'm going to say nine one five five one one eleven. Okay. So this is a shade of green. I'm going to go ahead and add this up. Bam. This will actually turn our test view to green color if if that particular alumina is graduated. So we're going to have to set a different color if the status is undergraduate. I'm going to say else if items position the status equal to undergraduate so just to be quick i'm going to go ahead and copy this paste it here and i'm going to just go ahead and change the color codes so this will do now the next will be for when the status is failed we we'll just change the color codes you know to something red i'm going to just say color dot red very simple and straight to the point so i'm going to set when the status is dropped out that's for people like Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg and the rest of them. So I'm going to set this to say color the maroon. Okay. So this is all we need to do. Now, like I said before, we need to add some customizations, you know, to the data. So instead of just having 2009 as the set, I'm going to just go ahead and say, okay. So this will now read set 2009. And for this, I want it to be department of... So this is all we need to do. Guys, now let's go ahead and test our app. Boom. So as you can see, our status when it's graduated now has a green color. And this now read Department of Economics and the set is 2009. So I'm going to go ahead and put a full name. So let's say Anthony Mark, Computer Science. Mm, let's say set of 2010 and let's say he he dropped out so this is automatically added for us in our in our recycler view okay so let's pull up our firebase database as well you can see the new information that we just added okay so let's go ahead and add some more let's add a new one so this time around, let's say we add Ben Johnson, say Department of um, Civil Engineering, say the set of 2011. So please, if your name is Ben or Johnson, just know that I'm not referring to you. This is just a dummy data. You didn't fail your college studies. You didn't fail in the university. 
this is just a dummy data. So I'm going to go ahead and click on submit. Boom. It was added here and it's added to our recycle view. So guys, this is all we need to do in this particular class. In the next class, we're going to be seeing how to delete this information from our recycle view and also from our Firebase database at the same time. So guys, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next class. If you like this video and you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you can always get notified whenever I make this type of video. Peace out.